the channel. In today's video, we're doing something completely different. Well, not too different. It's still plus size fashion related, but it is for all of my fellow Bengalis out there, or Indian, or Pakistanis, or if anyone who wears sharis. So in this video, I want to talk about my tips on when I wear sharis. Ever since I could remember, I did not like to wear sharis. It shows your midriff, something that I'm very insecure about. So, you know, I was too unconfident and just too scared to actually rock one. But it turns out, you know, I just didn't have the proper, I guess the proper way to wear it on my body type. Anyone can rock a shari. So in this video, I want to share with you guys a handful of tips that I incorporate every time I wear a shari just to make me feel a lot more confident and feel a lot more beautiful when I'm walking around in it. Go ahead and click that red button down below. I make plus size fashion videos and beauty related videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you like more of these videos. This is very fun to film. If you want more of how to style, I guess, desi clothes on um, plus size bodies, um, definitely give this video a thumbs up. But other than that, without further ado, if you want to see my tips on um, how I like to wear a shari, just keep on watching. So my first tip is the fabric. Fabric is very important when it comes to how the shari will look and feel on you. How you feel in the shari is very important. If you look uncomfortable, you feel uncomfortable, and it's just not going to be a pleasant experience. So definitely wear fabrics that are not too silky, where it'll just cling on to every part of your body. Something that'll flow off your body really well and just It'll just look smooth and nice. Um, Color is also important. I mean, this I think is a personal preference, but I, I don't like color blocks. I don't like stripes. I, I just like to wear darker colors. I like solid colors. I like bright colors, but I stay away from pastels. With pastels and light, peachy colors like that, it just really washes you out. And All right, my next tip is how you drape your shari. And what I mean is the excess fabric that you have that's over your shoulder. There's many different ways to do it. I just like to keep it simple. Um, I actually like to have it over my chest like this and add a little bit of the crease and folding for a little more detail. But then when you drape it over your shoulder, don't have it completely loose where your arm is holding it. I just feel like when you have, have it like that, you just look more of like, like you're wrapped around with a blanket. It doesn't give you that much shape. But when you do have um, it around your shoulder, people can see your arms, people can see you know, the insides of your shari, and it'll just give you a little bit more shape. My next tip, um, your blouses and your petticoat. Um, the petticoat is what we call the skirt. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but that's just what I call it. When your foundation underneath your sari is comfortable for you, when what you have underneath it you feel most confident in, you will feel more confident walking around and rocking your sari. A lot of people say to wear the skirt below your belly button. I am not for that. I'm uncomfortable with my belly, so I like to wear it as like a high-waisted skirt and then a crop top. I don't want to tie it too tight. Um, if you do tie it too tight, it's kind of like a muffin top and things are just going to roll over. So I'll have my blouse a little bit longer than usual and then I'll have my skirt above my belly button. And you'll see a little sliver of my belly, a little sliver of that skin, but you know, there's not too much, nothing overflowing, nothing, anything like that. And another thing that I really like to do is I like to wear heels with my sharis. If you can't wear heels, wear wedges, they're so much easier. But when you put on, put on those heels and you put on your wedges you're instantly a lot longer and the shari will make you look a lot longer and a lot more slimmer. Another thing, accessorize. Just like wearing any outfit you definitely want to balance it out. For example the shari that I'm wearing today has, has a lot of detailing around my neck. Because of that I do not want to wear another heavy necklace. I focus on more of my earrings and I put on a couple bangles. Um, thick gold bangles to go with it. So now I'm accessorizing it's not like too much. So yeah, that's basically it. Those are my tips on how I like to rock a shari and how I became a lot more confident in wearing something that used to freaking scare the crap out of me. I really hope you guys found these tips helpful and I hope you apply them when you do wear a shari yourself. Give this video a thumbs up. Also leave a comment down below on some of your tips you like to use when it comes to wearing a shari and how to make it feel more comfortable and how to feel confident when you do wear one. Other than that, um, I hope to see you guys next week and happy early Eid Mubarak. Bye guys.